Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in the last video I showed you that the official One UI 6.0 with Android 14 on the Galaxy S21 Ultra is available, at least for me. And if you didn't install the update yet, then wait a little bit more because this release is not really that great. The two biggest issues for me at least that I found with this release is the battery of course and the refresh rate motion smoothness and being able to use 120 hertz uh, which the refresh rate doesn't really work correctly as it should in all the apps so i think uh, because of that it uses more battery but anyway if you didn't install the update yet then wait a little bit or if you did install the update then go and check again if you have another update because i have a smaller patch and you can see right here at the top device stability improvements and bug fixes so i hope uh, that the battery is going to be a little bit better this is the step number one the step number two i'm going to show you right after I, I install the update so all right so the update is done so the next step i'm going to show you works for all samsung devices so we need to boot into the boot menu to wipe the cache because after you do updates there might be uh, some leftovers i'm going to show you how to do it so in my case i have an, an exynos device if you have a snapdragon device all you need to do is press the power button and volume up but in my case i have an i have an exynos device so i need to plug in the usb cable to my pc so right now i'm gonna press power button and volume up hold them both at the same time and once the samsung logo appears then just let the power button yeah it's not liking this uh, usb cable that I'm, I'm using let's try again Samsung logo, still keep the volume up. And there we go, we are into the boot menu. Now you don't need the USB cable anymore, you can unplug it and if you come here at the top you can see with, with the volume uh, buttons you can go down and up. So we need to come here, wipe cache partition, this one we need to delete don't delete wipe data factory reset because this is going to delete everything from your device of course if you don't have much on your phone this will be the best way to fix bugs because you're gonna make like a fresh install it's just it's the same like on windows you know when you when we do a big update the new windows update brings more bugs let's say like that with uh, android well it's kind of the same so wipe data factory will be let's say the best solution but it will delete all your data so don't do it if you have a lot of data on your phone and you didn't back it up wipe cache partition press the power button press power button to enter yes and it's done you can see here at the bottom wipe cache wipe completed and now you can reboot the system by pressing the power button in my opinion, this step is very important after any OS updates. Because like I said, when installing the new OS update, then there are some leftovers left behind uh, and those leftovers might make the phone not perform as it should and or drain the battery more. And for the last step, which you might want to check is go into the device care, go into the battery, into the battery and check which apps are draining your battery the most because if you have an app that you're using and it's at, at the top then that might be fine but if you have an app that you're not really using but it shows right here then uh, something is wrong and you need to maybe uninstall that app or let's go here for example into the apps and let's take for example aliexpress whatever just as an example for stop the app and go here at the storage and clear cache from this app as well because you see here it was 600 megabytes of cache from aliexpress so it's i mean this cache is when you load the app it's gonna load the images and everything this is the cache that we're talking about but these tricks might help some specific apps and what you can do as well come here into the uh, not storage into the memory ram because this is very very interesting for example right here samsung notes i never use it view more 
wearable i mean i don't really have a wearable and i don't i don't i don't have anything paired with samsung you see here i'm st i'm in airplane mode i don't have bluetooth connected so why is wearable in the background samsung keyboard for example why it's at the top using the most memory out of all the apps because uh, i don't use samsung keyboard i use swiftkey keyboard this is SwiftKey keyboard from Microsoft. So Samsung keyboard, I don't really use it, but as you saw right there, um, yeah, it stays at the top. And now, yeah, and now it's not there anymore. So yeah, figure that out. I mean, that's a Samsung, Samsung thing, I guess. You saw previously it was one gigabyte um, to free up and now it's only 682 megabytes. I didn't clean it, as you saw, I just went to home screen. And yeah, by coming here into the memory, you can see as well which apps are running right now. And if you have an app that it's running right now and it, you don't really use it, uh, then you might uh, check to uninstall that app or to clean that cache from that specific app. These are the three steps that you always should do after making an update at least these steps i do it all the time after i do an update but yeah thank you guys for watching till the next one